We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hello, me bros. This is Jason of Gamer Shock. So welcome to my 25th haul video. I know. My 25th haul video. So, Merry Christmas, everyone. I know it's not Christmas, but why not? Because... Christmas was a few days ago. Again, why not? So yeah, this is a gigantic haul video. Probably the biggest I've done since last year, probably. I don't know. But anyways, so now, let's start. So I got a mountain of stuff to show. So first off, uh, let me show some of the stuff I got for Christmas. It, oh, by the way, this, this haul video is going to be full of stuff that I got for Black Friday and for Christmas, along with today. So... Probably the best Christmas gift I got was um, a laptop from my parents, a Lenovo um, laptop, which is great because I could probably get some better videos on it. Um, I got some candy behind me. I got Haribo Gold Bears. I got Gummy Krabby Patties. Um, I got some Lego sets. I got, um, what else? I got undies like everyone else. And I got some gift cards. I got this um, this double pack of Domino's and GameStop gift card. I got a Universal Visa gift card for American Express, Express. And I got a Wendy's $15 gift card. That's cool. And then I forgot to show this in my previous haul video. I got a Spyro Reignited Trilogy keychain that I forgot to show. For some reason, I'm not sure. also got a... Um, Mario alarm clock. I don't know. Just something random. And I, I also got this uh, 100 and, uh, 101 questions of movie on uh, movie trivia. Which would be really interesting because I'm really into movies. And then I'll get, I'm going to be unboxing some stuff as well. So um, oh, I also got uh, a weekly ad from GameStop from December 12th through 18th. Again, I'm not going to go through this. In depth because I have so many games, it's not worth going through this in insane detail. All right, and then I got two game informers that I forgot to show. So this one is um, for Warcraft Three Reforged. It's a really cool looking cover. And then this one's for Rage Two, which now is coming out next year. Now we know. Well, it may next year. All right. So starting with the first stack. So this first stack is from Black Friday from Core Gaming. And during Black Friday they did you know how I do 4 for 10 deals and 10 for 20 deals at Core Gaming? On Black Friday they do 6 for 10 and they do 15 for 20. So I took advantage of that offer as much as I possibly could. So I got, let's see, I got 7 original Xbox games, 3 Wii games, a PS2 game, a PS4 game, which isn't really a game, a DS game, a PS1 game, and a Game Boy Advance game in the box. So I start with these seven original Xbox games. What's that? One, two, three, four, five. Eight. Yeah, it's seven. So I'm not going to be going into a lot of detail like I usually do. So first one, Monopoly Party. This looks kind of interesting because who doesn't love Monopoly? And I can do it with a party because, I don't know, because it's high stakes fun as it says up here. And this is complete. Alright, next. Um, Kill Switch. So this is supposed to be, I think, a precursor to Gears of War. Because it has a cover mechanics that I think Gears of War would, like, take and refine. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure the exact story on this game. And this is complete. Come on, focus camera. There we go. Alright, then we got... Oh, wrong one. Uh, Tao Fang, Fist of the Lotus, from the co-creator of Mortal Kombat, which I think is Ed Boon out of the two. So, yeah, he made his own game like Mortal Kombat. And spine in the back. The pain is real because because I think the apparent gimmick of this game was limb damage. You get to damage each other, like your opponent's limbs. I'm not exactly sure how this mechanic works in the game. This one is complete as well, and it has the uh, Xbox insert 
saying like, hey, look, there's some games coming soon. Buy Imperator now. And then we got Pariah, which is, I think, an under, uh, from what I've heard, is an underrated first-person shooter. And it looks pretty cool. Can you survive? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can survive because, you know, I passed, I survived Black Friday and Christmas shopping. Saying so, this one's complete with a, complete with a, even a uh, business card for Video Game Monster in Fairpoint, New York. I don't even live in New York, so boo-hoo. I did go to New York on a senior trip for school. Uh, and then we got Pirates of the Caribbean. On focus camera. Is that focus? Focus. There we go. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Which I'm not sure what this game is. It's published by Bethesda, of all people. Which is now really shocking because now we know that Bethesda is can have crap. And again, this one's complete. Don't, ex don't know exactly like what this game is. Or what it's like. Uh, Spider-Man. This I got because I... Because there was an exclusive level to this version of the game. I also have this game on GameCube. And I think this level is supposed to be for Craven the Hunter. If you can see right there. Probably not. But it's... Yeah, you probably can't see it. And again. Complete. And the last original Xbox game in this first stack is... R Racing Evolution. Which I think is Ridge Racer Evolution. And... I don't know. It's a Ridge Racer game. Haven't played any of those. This one's complete with an I Ninja um, insert. I want to get I Ninja because I've heard that's a really underrated 3D platformer. All right, then the Wii games. These ones are really nothing special. These ones are. Uh, I guess I'd put these two together. A ca camera. Stop shaking. Um, Carnival games, mini golf, and Super Swing mini golf. I got these because I like golf. That is the only reason why. A, a hole in fun. I guess like I said, I'm a sucker for mini golf, so I will get any mini golf game I would could possibly find, or or on a browser. And I got Super Swing Golf, uh, Fantasy Golf, Real Swings. I think you know why you got why people will get this game. And then again, complete. Alright, my oh oh last Wii game, uh, Ben 10 Protector of Earth. I really like Ben 10, so just wanted to get this. Like, hmm, what is it like? Because I think I have I had this game on DS and it's complete, and I don't know maybe the Wii version is a lot different than that. I'm not sure. Oh, let me take a let me take a drink real quick. Got some Pepsi on the side. Ah, delicious. I right, send so the PS2 game is ATV Offroad Fury Three. Pretty dumb trick to go for because. Concerning all the PS2 games that there were in those bins, but I couldn't help myself. Spine and the back. Blaze your own trail. Trademarked. And then this one's complete. Alright, and then the PS4 game. This one's not really a game. It's actually a PS PlayStation VR game. It's um PlayStation VR demo disc. I have the second one that uh, right here that came with my PlayStation VR, so I just found this. For some reason. And I picked it up. Spine in the back. Bunch of, de bunch of demos. If you could see what they are. And. Pretty sure this one's complete. Because I'm pretty sure. A lot of PS4 games don't come with manuals anyway. Alright. And then the DS game is. Brain Age. Uh, what's that say? Train your brain in minutes a day. With Sudoku included. Ooh. Spine in the back. Train that brain. Hey, that rhymes. Yeah, I know. It does rhyme. And this one is fully stocked and complete. Look at that guy. You can tell he wants to teach you something. And then, uh, PlayStation 1 game. A Bug's Life. I don't know. It was cheap, and it was in the 15 for 20 bins. Couldn't really pass it up. I basically got, like, every single... A game for every single co console that I own. Uh, let's see, an interactive journey with the bugs I've... Does that say you? Does that say you? What kind of stupid spelling error is that? And people say, like, there's a lot of jab... Like, like, those don't exist anymore. But apparently it did in... 1998. So this one's complete. Taking out the disc is... Dim and most of the other... 
characters like Rosie. Uh, I've got the rest of the characters' names from a Bugs Life. I haven't seen the movie in a while. And then these, the Game Boy Advance game is, ooh, Shrek Two. Ha ha yeah. I got Shrek 2. This was the best one. Uh, yeah, you surprised I got a Game Boy Advance game in the box? Well, this was actually not the only one. There was a few in there. And this was, this one I found to be the best one that was in there. And the box is in pretty good condition. It's inspired in the back. The adventure continues with all new characters and far out locations never seen before. And so inside, this, this one is complete. And you know what, even, what makes it even better? I even got a Baskin Robbins coupon. Oh, wait, it's expired. Crap. But um, the, the game is in this little baggie right here. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's the first stack. And then I got a few more games from Core Gaming because they were doing a buy two, get one free on any games. So I got one PlayStation 1 game, and it's Metal Gear Solid. Can't get enough Metal Gear, huh? Well, this is actually my last um, main... Main series, like, numbered Metal Gear game. Yeah, I have all the other ones. And now I have this one. Yay. Greatest Hits, I'm actually... I don't really care about the Greatest Hits, but I think it's it's fine. Because look at it. It's, the cover's already iconic anyway. It's the red and white. And whatever. It's Spines... Spines and the back. You are Snake, a government agent on a mission to regain control of a secret nuclear weapons base from terrorist attacks. And look at that. Iconic stuff. There's a crack, but that doesn't matter. So then here's disc one and the manual. And then here's disc two. And that's it. And then I got two more um, original Xbox games. I got Indigo Prophecy by um so this is my first Quantic Dream game. So let's see, spine in the back. A uh, stranger has been stabbed to death. The killer is you. Dun 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 Christmas murderer? I don't know. Uh, so then, complete. Just a little crack on the bottom of the case. And then, I got SSX Tricky. I got this I got this because it seemed like the other good game to get. So it's fine with the color of orange in the, in the back. Resist Gravity. I hope I can because, yeah. And then, is the disc and the manual. Yeah, I got it because I was because I really liked the first SSX and and it just seemed like the right idea because I couldn't find a PS2 or a GameCube version, so I just got an Xbox version. <laughs> seemed right. <sighs> hmm. Uh, what's next? I guess next we can go through these uh, little stacks of PlayStation 3 games and PlayStation 4 games. So the, the um, let's see, these ones I got from GameStop from my for Black Friday. And for some reason, this case is messed up. Alright, so, again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these games, so... These ones, these first three I got from GameStop. Um, so for PS3, I got Journey Collector's Edition, which has, you know, Journey, Flow, and Flower. I haven't tried these games out yet, but they look really interesting, really unique. It's in Spine, and the back. Experience the Wonder. Again, look at that. That looks beautiful. So then, this one's complete, and I don't know if you can see, but there is an alternate cover art on the back with all of, it, all of the games as one, which is really, again, unique. Alright, so next I got Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Oh, I'm sorry, Resident Evil 7 biohazard i'm sure he's probably not gonna say like that but i don't care and i think i, I think you know why i got this game yeah vr <laughs> spine and the back fear comes home <laughs> i want to be scared on christmas god oh my god scariness on christmas and there's a spec set at 4 ps4 pro we're gonna put more water on the monsters oh my god and then, this one, I, th I don't think I had any inserts, but so it's just the disc. Boo-hoo. Alright, so then, uh, I got uh, another PlayStation 4 game. This one is Final Fantasy XV. <sighs> I've wanted this game for a while because, you know, remember when this game was stuck in development hell for a decade? 
Now here it is. Yay. So yeah, day one edition. I don't know what exactly is exactly is in there. Then spine, white spine, and the back. Reclaim your throne. Yeah, yeah, whatever your main character is. Reclaim that throne, and you stay on that throne. So then, uh, specs again. ESRB rating, blah, 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 blah. Here's the disc. Black disc. We got a disc from the, the development team saying, like, thank you guys for all the... Oh, it's over here. Thank you for your support. By, uh, from the pe from the people who made the game. Uh, there's a code, a registration code for the, what's that, Masamune DLC weapon. It expires on September 30th, 2026. Don't worry, plenty of time. And then uh, Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age, and World of Final Fantasy. And then here's a useless manual. And then there's alternate cover art behind it. If you can see the Final Fantasy XV right there. Yeah, that's what that is. I like, the, I like the inserts. Cool that you get a lot of inserts. Okay, so then uh, I got some. I got another PlayStation 4 game and another PlayStation 3 game. This one I got from, from GameStop for 5 bucks recently. So I got um, Ratchet & Clank All for One. Another Ratchet & Clank game to add to my collection. I just need a few more. And then that's it. I need Ratchet & Clank. Um, let's see. I need uh, Ratchet & Clank Size Matters. Secret Agent Clank. Ratchet and Clank Full Frontal Assault uh, into the Nexus, and then I need uh, Quest for Booty, which I need to import from Europe. Send is the back. Four player cooperative mayhem. Perfect for a Ratchet and Clank game. Send is the disc with an alternate cover art. Yay! I like that, that disc. That's a beautiful disc. I know. I'm sorry I'm speeding through these, but really, I have so many games. <laughs> I have to. And plus, it's Christmas. Yeah. And plus New Year's is a few days. Oh, I need to take another drink. Ah, delicious. Alright, so then the PS4 game is um, a game I got from um, my friend Aaron Fazbear. He just gave it to me when he got uh, the same game for his birthday. It was a deluxe edition. I got Star Wars Battlefront. As much crap as this game receives, I actually kind of want to play it. Uh, just, just put their fingers over EA. They deserve it. And may, it may be dice as well. Maybe dice as well. But honestly, look at the cover. Look at how beautiful that is. And then spine. We actually got something on the spine. Oh my god. And the back. Immerse yourself in your Star Wars battle fantasies. Fantasy. So we got Darth Vader up there and the Battle of Jakku DLC access included. And then here's here's the disc with uh, the stormtrooper and here's the battle of Jakku stuff doesn't have a code on it or anything. And then it, and here go get the Star Wars Battlefront season pass. I don't even know if the season pass is still available now. I don't know. All right, so next is a bunch of Wii games. I have I got a stack of twenty Wii games right next to me, plus four duplicate Wii games. That I got from Aired Fazbear. So just to go through these real quick. I got a Nintendo Selects copy of Super Mario Galaxy. Which is one of my favorite games of all time. Complete. The manual is behind it. A Nintendo Selects copy of Wii Sports. And who doesn't love Wii Sports? I'm probably going to keep this because I don't have a Nintendo Selects copy of this game. Again, this one's also complete. Oh my god. Mario Kart Wii. Complete. And I got Super Paper Mario. Which I really need to get back into. For some reason. I don't know. I just stopped after a while. Again, also complete. Alright. Get ready for some big boys, ladies and gentlemen. Because we got... We got kind of, we kind of got some crap Wii games, but down, but slowly down as we go, we, we'll get to like better games and like where, like uncommon games. So first off, we got AMF Bowling Pro Buster. I mean Pin Busters, which is remember Mud Duck from AMF Bowling two thousand four. They're back with another bowling game. And honestly, this one is better than AMF Bowling two thousand four. <laughs> I like that's saying a lot, and this is complete. I don't hate AMF Bowling 2004, it's just, it's not that great of a game. 
And then I got Kowalski Jet Ski. Uh, not a bad game, to be honest. This time, I've... The one good game by Data Design Interactive. If you, you know them and you watched my Anubis the second Let's Play, you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. So again, this one's also complete. Uh, let's see. Looney Tunes Acme Arsenal. It's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty okay game. It's just the motion controls are really, really crap, and the camera's kind of crap. And it's actually, uh, um, even though, even despite that, it's a okay game. Complete. Um, uh, Deca Sports Two. This is the only game that it, that I got that doesn't work, unfortunately, because um uh, when I got into my first mini game, it crashed. For some reason. I might try it again. See if it works. But. I don't know. I don't see that working anytime soon. Uh, army Men. Soldiers of Misfortune. Which is an Army Men game. With this kid. Instead of the actual Army Men. And. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure many people are asking themselves. like, Why are there so many. Of those Army Men games. Well. I don't know. If they're good. That's fine. If they're crap. I don't know. So then, uh, yeah, spine in the back, says nothing, with the army teddy bear, and then, this one's complete, I also have this game on the DS, and I don't know, this game is also available on PlayStation 2, I'm pretty sure, and then we got, uh, Spongebob's Boating Bash, which is like a Spongebob Twisted Metal game, I think, where you fight with boats, you know, like the game Blood Wake on... Original Xbox, I guess it's like that. So, uh, again, also complete. Yeah, you're very much suspecting all these games to be complete. But there actually is one game that's not complete. Ooh, big surprise right there. Uh, Balloon Pop, which I got an, into for about an hour and then I stopped. It's a puzzle game in case you're wondering. So, uh, yeah. This one is also complete with a blue disc and mushrooms. Uh, Epic Mickey, another pretty good game. It's just, um, need to get, I want to, I want to try this because I, will play it some more because I've heard this game is really, really good on the Wii. Like a really, like a hidden gem, I think, on the Wii. I'm not sure. This one's complete. Wish I had more color on the, the case. Uh, Lego Harry Potter, years one through four. Just missing... For the Lego games on the Wii, I'm still missing Lego Harry Potter years 5 through 7, and then I'm missing Lego Rock Band. Then I have all of the um, um, Lego games on the Wii. So again, this one's also complete with a... Congratulations, uh, Warner Brothers uh, Insider Rewards. Don't know if that still works now. So then, let's, what's next? Uh, Disney, in, Disney Infinity... Which, I don't know, I don't have the figures to even start the game, so, pfft, can't play it <laughs> until, until I get those figures. But it shouldn't be hard at all to find. And so, this is complete as well. Uh, Disney Universe. And for some reason, I thought this was a board game the first time I saw it. Believe it or not, it's actually kind of like the, um, the Lego games. Where you get to, um, dress up in all these Disney and Pixar costumes. Pretty, it's a pretty good game. If you like the Lego games, this is complete, and there's the manual. God, this is, I'm already making a mess, even though it's 20 minutes into the video. Ghost Recon for the Wii. This one is a, um, it's not like the tactics, squad game, squad based tactics shooters of the other games. This one's a rail shooter, and I don't know, I like this one over the other ones, because I can actually make progress. Say, so fight together with the weapons of tomorrow. Whoa. And then... Complete. Alright, we're getting there. We're getting we're getting there. Uh Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions with a bonus custom comic book inside. Haven't played it, this game yet. I just finished the tutorial. I think this one's complete with the manual and the comic book. Which is really messed up. Like I said, this was owned by my friend uh Aaron Fazbear, so don't know exactly how far he got into it. I don't know. Uh, House of the Dead three, 2 and 3 Return. Both really fun games. Cause I don't remember ever playing these games in the arcade. So this is my first time playing them. Like, at all. And I played it with um, with Air and Fazbear. And 
That was really fun playing playing a cause. I don't know. It's just really fun to do that. So we got the disc and then and the manual. Oh, I'm sorry. G's file. Ooh, is there some guy named G? Like, is he a G? No, I'm sorry. And then we got another Sega game. Actually, and another Sega game after that. We got Sega Superstars Tennis. I, I don't know. We got a lot of Sega games for some reason. Oh, also look, a, a tennis game with mild blood. What's up with that? I have no idea. This one's also complete. Um, and then my other M-rated game on the Wii, Mad World, which again another Sega game, and a really different looking game. Cause look at this, look at this on a Wii game. Oh my God! Spectacular mayhem. And then again, this one's complete. And behind there is a. Uh, the conduit, and then the advertisement for House of the Dead Overkill on Wii. Alright. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Pac-Man par Pac -Man Party! This is Mario Party with Pac-Man. Big surprise. And this one is also complete. Uh, did we move these games out of that, out of that disgusting pile? Uh, Rayman Origins, I really wanted this game because I love Rayman Legends. It's such a good 2D platformer. And now I have Rayman Origins, which is also a really good 2D platformer. Meet the new crazy! Oh yeah, I will, because I already played Rayman Legends. Uh, this is complete as well. And then, I got a Nintendo Selects copy of Mario Strikers Charged, which is great. I still want to eventually find a normal copy of Mario Strikers Charged. Uh, hopefully soon. This one is also complete. Alright, coming down to the last three games, which are all Nintendo games. I got Battalion Wars 2, which is a kind of squad-based third-person shooter. It's way sim simpler to, to Ghost Recon, that's for sure. And I don't have the first one, which I think is on the GameCube. In the back, Take Charge! And then, this is also complete. Alright, and then my last two... Which probably is some like 30, 30, 40 dollar games for some reason. Uh, Poke Park 2, Wonder, Wonders Beyond. Which is actually my first Pokemon game, believe it or not. I don't have any of them for some reason. Because they're so expensive, that's why. Go beyond Poke Park. Don't worry, game. I will, because this game is complete. With a manual that looks like a journal. And it'll be a good time. Right, and then last one is Mario Party 9. Because... I, this was the last good, like, really good game that I wanted. Yes, I actually like Mario Party 9, believe it or not. So I ride together and complete and compete to defeat the boss. By boss, by one boss, I mean multiple bosses. And again, also complete. Alright, so that's all my Wii game, like, big stack of Wii games. And we're, and we're 28 minutes. Jesus Christ, and I'm not even done. Alright, so I need to, I think I need to do less detail. I have no idea. So next is some game is another core gaming stack. Uh, this one is just a 10 for 20. I'm just gonna browse through these games really, really quick. Just to save on time. So for the original Xbox in this stack, I got Air Force Delta Storm, which is a game that by um uh, Henry Gonzalez, one of my um YouTube buddies, recommended. Complete. Uh, let's see. Taco Race Driver 3, which I think is, uh, well, the ultimate racing simulator. Complete. Um, LA Rush. Really, it looks like Need for Speed, but made by Midway. Whoa. Complete. And then I got, uh, Unreal Championship. I don't know, just wanted to grab... Something, because I was really in a hurry to even grab stuff. Again, also complete. Okay, and uh, two Wii games. Nothing really special. I got Ultimate Board Game Collection. Just 12 classics from around the world. You can see right there. And it only shows six. This is also complete. And again, I wasn't really looking for this game. I might have just grabbed it. I got Medal of Honor Vanguard. I don't know, this game looked really cool, so might as well. The best-selling World War II franchise, right before Call of Duty took that place. 
Well, <laughs> in terms of first-person shooters. Again, complete. Oh, God. I'm sweating like a madman now. And uh, we got ATV Offered Fury 4, which now completes my ATV Offered series. Offered Fury series. Ugh. I can't speak today because it's Christmas. Maybe that's what. No, actually, it's not Christmas. <laughs> and so, yeah, complete. Uh, well, these PS2 games. Couldn't tell. Uh, SSX on tour. I eventually want to find this game on the GameCube because because of the exclusive characters that are on it. Mario, Luigi, and Peach. I so said that's complete. And then I got one PS3 game. Um, Lair. Remember this disappointment? <laughs> I don't know. I've heard that the game now that now the game is actually pretty okay. It just it, it destroyed Factor Five, who created um, the Star Wars Rogue Squadron games. And again, this one's complete. And they supposed to be like a game about dragons. I'm not sure. And then I got a DS game, Bejeweled Twist. Because I had to. I like Pop Cap. And back. Play the number one puzzle game like never before. And then complete. Alright, we're almost done. We're almost done. Just, uh, just a few more games left. And then I got two more PS2 games that are not in the, te in the 10 for 20. I got Tekken 4 for the PS2. And yeah. This is my first Tekken game. I wanted to start somewhere, so why not start with Tekken 4? The legend continues. And I don't know how, because I've never played the first three on the PS1 or Tag Tournament. So there's a disc and manual. It's pretty thick. And then I got Final Fantasy X. <sighs> oh boy. Final Fantasy X. I have 10 2 now, so now it should be completely fine. And it's complete. But that looks beautiful. <sighs> Boy. Alright, so next is a... Let's just move this stuff. The next is some more GameStop stuff. I got a... I did their three for... Their like, buy two, get one free for... For this week. So, these games I just got today while I was hanging out with Aaron Fazbear. So, I got two PS3 games and another PS4 game. So the PS4 game, just get this out of the way, is Skylander Swap Force. This is my third copy of Skylander Swap Force. I already have this game on Wii and Wii U, but I was in a hurry, so I just had to grab something. There's no inserts. I doubt this game had inserts. And I got uh, Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2, which Aaron Fazbear <laughs> pressured me to get because he really, he really loves this game. He really loves this game. And... I don't know. I haven't played it yet, so now this will be my first time playing the game. And uh, my copy is complete compared to his. Alright, and then and then this completes another series. Uh, Lightning Returns Final Fantasy XIII with the stickers covering up Lightning's face, which is perfect because she's a boring character in Final Fantasy XIII. I mean, I could see what they were going for, but she just sounds like a robot. Expressionless. Again, also complete. It all ends here. I'm sure it does. Alright, so next, all right, so the last stack of games, well, kind of, is, uh, uh, well, for this video, this will be the last, the last parts of the, of the video. The rest I'm going to do as, like, a separate part, kind of. Uh, so, the, these last four games I got from, from Bull Moose, my only games from Bull Moose. <sighs> okay, so... Now I think now I should be kind of free, so let's see. For the original Xbox for Bull Moose, I got Tomb Raider Legend. Yeah. Another Tomb Raider game. I wanted to get another one because I really liked um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. It's just I like, really want to get back into it. And I've heard this one's pretty good. I don't know which. I think this is supposed to be the best version. I'm not exactly sure. 597. Couldn't really pass it up. Spy and the back. Lara Croft is back. And guess what? This was the game with no manual. I couldn't check if the manual was in there, so <clears throat> boo hoo. Merry Christmas, Jason. Yeah, thanks, Santa Claus. And then I got um, my last PS3 game, uh, Soul Calibur Five. Another Soul Calibur game down the list. Hooray! With Ezio from Assassin's Creed as the guest character. Seems kind of fine. Okay, spine in the back. Two swords, two generations, 
one destiny. And this one's complete. And then I got a, I think, sealed Game Boy Advance game. Boxed. Obviously boxed, but... I don't know if this is a legit seal or not, but this, but this is X3, the official game. But X-Men 3. I can't tell if this is a, an actual seal or not, because I don't know if Game Boy Advance games at the time like, ever were like sealed and shrink wrap. It might have been, I'm not sure, but the the the, um, the box is crushed, so I don't know. Anyway, uh, leave it in the comments if you know if that's a legit seal or not. And then the last game is, believe it or not, um, a Sega Dreamcast game. Wait, Jason, you don't have a Dreamcast. Yeah, I know. I know I don't have a Dreamcast, but um, let me just show you the game. It's Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. So even though I don't have a Dreamcast, I wanted to get this just uh, in case I do get a Dreamcast, which I do plan on doing in, in January. So, yeah. So, here's the disc with Tony Hawk behind it. And obviously this is complete because you can see the manual. Then the back. Hawk's back with new technology, new pros, and new tricks. Thoops 2. The legend rides on. Aw, yeah. So yeah, a Dreamcast game is my last game. Surprise? Yeah, because it's Christmas. Okay, so... Let me just show this stuff, the last few things that I have real quick. These, these are going to be saved for another video. So, let's see. I got some Switch stuff, and I got one PlayStation 4 game. So, for the accessories, I got a Switch a, a Comfort Grip for Minecraft for Christmas. I got a Zelda Breath of the Wild hybrid case with a screen protector, which is great because I need a new screen protector. And then for the one PlayStation 4 game, I got... Injustice 2 Legendary Edition. I mean, Legend, wait for it, Dairy Edition with Hellboy and the Ninja Turtles. Aw, oh, yeah. And then I got three Switch games. I got Dragon Ball Fighters. Which I wanted this for a while. Um, I got this big box. It might not, might not show up on camera, but this is Starlink Battle for Atlas. Another game I've wanted. And then the last one is, this one probably won't be no surprise, but this is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. No shocker whatsoever. Ha, <laughs> no. Alright, so, yeah, that was all of the games that I got for this video. And then, again, two more things real quick, if I can find them. So I got a, I got two Amiibos, if I can find the last, the other one. Uh, oh, it's in here. It's in this, uh, bag. The first one I got from Christmas, and the second one I got from, from Target today. So, the first one is a Mario Smash Bros. Amiibo, and then the other one is an Inkling Amiibo for Smash Bros. And I'm gonna unbox these next, uh, for my other video, which I'll unbox all these games and accessories. So, yeah. That is it. Oh, actually, no. I know it keeps, um... Like stopping the video like this, but get a load of this before I end of the video. Before I end the video, what is that? Well, good viewer, I will tell you. This is an EA Sports GamePad Pro, which you can see looks like a PS2 controller, but I dub it, but I call it the nipple pad. Why? Because of look at this D-pad. Do you want to play with this D-pad? This nipple pad? I don't think so. And from the connector of this, which looks really weird, by the way, I'm guessing it plugs into a PC. I have no idea. This is, like, the weirdest. It was in the Core Gaming free bin, so I just grabbed it, like, ooh, this looks interesting. So, yeah. Oh, I need some, I need a drink. I really need a drink. So, yeah, that is it. Oh, my God. So thank you all for watching the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And next video, like I said, is going to be my unboxing video on my Switch games and Injustice 2 and those accessories. And, uh, yeah. So shock the world and us, Amiibos. Goodbye.